Welcome to Mr. Bacon Pants Plays Games. Today we are playing another game of Everdale. If you like this content, please like and subscribe. If you love this content, please tell your family members to like and subscribe. Anyway, I am super excited today. You want to know why? Because finally they released an update that allows you to select your animal. I can finally be a turtle. Let's go. So we're going to go to challenges. Last video, if you've been following along, we did the hedgehog and the hedgehog sprang into action. And, uh, you know, we all started in spring. Now we could do sprang in the action again, heroic difficulty, but I'm not that good yet. So I am going to do commoner uprising and just see what, what changes are made to this one and how it makes the game play a little bit different. So the difficulty is normal. Common cards are free. If you have a card in your city with the same name, opponents start with a unique card in their city. So common cards are free if you have the card of the same name. Interesting. Interesting. So this is the biggest update ever. This is huge right here. If you look at my mouse, it's probably tiny on your screen, but it's right here. Boom. We got character select. I'm going to be the turtle. Haha, -ha, take that computer. No more picking who I am. I can pick myself. All right, so here we go. Everdale, we haven't played this game. Um, and I'm going to be talking in a calmer voice. So you can go ahead and turn that audio back up. I was pretty excited about character select. Um, <laughs> so yeah, we got, we're playing against Squirrel and Mouse. And uh, yes, we got to place a worker. This is a worker place placing placement game. And there's a... You know, a little bit of a tableau build going on. This is what, the, this is what they have in their tableau. Uh, so they got the palace for each unique construction in your city. Get a victory point. And this one is for each unique critter. Get a victory point. Uh, these are the common goals. So, uh, you know, these icons, if you collect, you know, the number 4333, three, 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 you get these. And these are worth victory points. You can trade in cards for victory points at the end of the game. These are the goals that change every game. So we got the Undertaker and the old Bridge Toad. Um, and essentially I'll get six victory points for that. When you achieve, pay two berries and discard two cards from your city. Well, that's kind of nice because then you can kind of reset if you played some stuff that you're like, ah, I wish I had those slots for something else because I think you only have 15, 15 slots in your, in your tableau. Uh, teacher in university, so for each critter beneath this event. So when you achieve this, you may place up to three critters from your hand beneath your event. Interesting. Uh, this one's for each prisoner in your dungeon. And then this one is for each berry on this event. Whenever you achieve it, you may place up to three berries here. Okay, cool. So, uh, yeah, we'll have to keep a lookout for these cards. Um, that Yeah, there is the dungeon. I'm not really pro-dungeon. I think we incarcerate too many people in this country and I do not believe in prisoners. Well, I mean, unless you did a violent crime, then yeah, maybe you can't be in society, but nonviolent, just really be, get rehabilitated and get back out in society. Let's go. All right. Um, let's see. And, and prisons can't do that well. Maybe they should go, maybe we should give them free school. All right. Um, that's, let's see here. Um, uh, uh, I'm just looking to see if there's anything else worth getting. This is a unique building. So this symbol here, this little pinwheel, uh, that's usually a unique construction, and it usually gives you uh, points at the end of the game. Um, so I could go, like, really common construction heavy and just, you know, which, I mean, it's probably not a bad strategy. Okay, so we got to get some resources first. We can get three berries. We can get a stone, which is fairly rare, and more cards. You do have a max hand size. Um, but you know what? Why don't we fill that fill that hand up and get a stone while we're at it? So, tortoise, get over there. All right. So now we have our full hand of eight. We only drew two cards instead of three. This game is very strict on uh, how many cards you can have. Usually, you like draw over and then discard. It's like, nah, no more cards. All right, when you're playing a construction, you may discard this crane from your city to play that construction for three fewer. Yeah, I think this is a good idea because I can play this castle uh, for a little bit cheaper. So let's go ahead and get that going right now. Cool. 
And then we do have the university, which I think is up here. Yes, the university and the teacher. I got both. So what do I need for that? Uh, oh, yeah, critters in my hand. Sweet. Okay. Uh, so let's try to get that out. Um, I don't want to waste the crane on the university. So I think I might want to try to get another stone. While I can. Then I will be out of workers. You start off with only two, I believe. Um, and I do need some berries as well. So I could play the farm. Could I play the farm with the... Yeah, maybe I'll play the farm with my crane. Because it is a common construction. It gives me the berry to get that teacher out. Um, oh, there's the end. I think the end's up here, too. Oh, yeah, it's all, it's a berry heavy one. A berry heavy. Ha 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 ha. Yeah, you need berries. Oh, man. Ah, oh, man, what do I want to do? It ends right there. Uh, play a critter or construction from your meadow, from the meadow for three fewer. Ooh, that one might be, that one's probably a better option to play, honestly. Because, and I think I have the bard in my hand. No, okay. I don't, I thought I had the bard. Yeah, let's do this. Yeah, and we got to. Cool. All right. And then we could play the ruins. Uh, discard a construction from your city. Gain resources. Equal that construction cost and draw two cards. And that's something we don't want to do. Um, so we're not going to do that. Uh, oh, yeah. We could play another inn. Well, that would... And it's a common construction. Yeah, please. I forgot. Because the rules of the game. You can play common buildings and things uh, for free. And that actually works out pretty good. All right. Yeah, nothing else I can do. I'm going to go ahead and reset. Whoa, the bird's angry at me because I can play ruins. Oh, well, let's think about that now. I could. I mean, do I really need it? I could get those resources. And that might be a better idea. Yeah. Get those resources for free. Look at that. That's a big brain move. It's like I played this like a bunch of times or something. Um, all right. So we could pay the peddler for some. Oh, yeah. Because we got the ruins. You may pay up to two resources to gain an equal amount. Oh, yeah. that You can like trade resources. Don't really know if I want to do that. Well, I guess I could... You know what? I could take the wood and turn it into stone. Because I can get wood really easy. So maybe I could do that. Because I really want to build that castle. Alright, let's do it. And then we can do... Wait. Oh yeah, play for free. Yes, I want to play for free. Okay, so we want to give the wood. So we'll give wood... And we'll gather stone. Confirm. Alright. I think that was a pretty good move there. I still haven't moved into the next season. I love that. that. That's when you know you're playing well. Is when you're like doing stuff. And you don't even need to. You don't even need to move on. Oh I could do the university too. Um, but no. I'm really, I really want to get this castle first. Just in case someone else gets it. So, I, yeah, I could do the dungeon, but that's going to waste my resource. I could do this. It's going to waste my resources. I want to basically just get... Oh, yeah, I could get resin. Next turn to be resin, wood, castle. Seems like a huge waste. It seems like a lot of work. But you know what? Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay, so we can do the exchange again. So we're going to go ahead and skip. Ooh, look at that. Using my... How dare you? Ooh, I better get that wood. No, I'm going to get the resin. 
Well, I could get the resin in the in one wood. Let's do that. Oh man, I'm getting scared. Wish I could kick that guy out. All right, so you definitely want to get your resources early. You know, I forget what the Haven sp spot does. Oh yeah, discard any number of cards and get that many resources. Right. All right, we're gonna go ahead and do this one. That was our plan. We're, we're playing the whole game. All right, so now we could do this guy. So I wonder if that means that I can, is this, wait look, play a critter or a construction. So I could play, couldn't I just play that? I feel like I could just play this right from the meadow. Let me just see. I think I can undo. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. So either place either three. All right. So I think I'm going to, I think I'm going to do berries. No stone. Let's get another stone. Drag a meadow card to your city and pay. Yeah. That's weird. Like it says drag. I think I glitch in the game out. It says drag, but you can't. I can click it. Um, we'll throw wood on there. Or a stone. And I think I get a victory point if other people use that. So I could go to the next season. Or I can play the store. Oh, because yeah, I already have a storehouse. I could play it for free. Yeah, let's do that. It's a common. Um, let's do resin. No bear. No resin. I think they changed this UI. It's a little bit more obvious on what those are. I keep forgetting, I gotta look at my, my opponent's tableau. Alright, and then, yeah, let's do next season. The turtles. Alright, so we got four points right now off of my my, my long-term strategy of castles. Um, so we, ooh, we could play the king for free. Plus uh, one victory point for each basic event you achieve. Okay. And then two for each special event you achieve. Okay, yes. So we got to get up there. We do have the university. We just need the teacher. Oh, I got them, I got them right here. So yeah, let's get that going. Play that for free. And then, yes, yeah, so we just need stone and resin. Two stone. Okay, so let's think. Where are we going to get the stone? I feel like I should get this one first. And then I'll get my own. And then we need one resin, so maybe I'll grab this one. Alright, so we'll do another stone. Yeah, I feel this game is like very combo heavy. It's like, I feel like I'm playing like combo. All right. I already, oh, I could play the in too. I already got an in. Oh, dang it. Okay. Oh, I could play the, oh, I need one more, one more bean plant and I could. All right, so now I have, I think I have all the resources. Yep. So we'll go ahead. Play the university. You just got a critter or university card from your city. Gain a resource equal to that card's cost. Nice. Why can't I play the teacher? Oh, it's the doctor, not the teacher. So I gotta play this teacher the old fashioned way. Okay. Um, oh, there's a schoolhouse. Or I could play yet another in. 
for free. Let's do that. Why it's there. Each unique. No. What's that gonna get me? No two points. Uh what's this one gonna do? Two points. It would be I have the king. It would be nice if I could get those, but no, I'll try to get these up here. So I need the teacher. Let's just get the teacher going. Um, I just need some berries. Ah, come on. Ah, oh, no berries. No berries. Oh, no. Um, no, there's berries there. Okay, and how many do I need? Just two. Cool. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, I don't have a worker, though. Okay, but I still have time. Alright, so I could go up there if I wanted. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead, and go ahead and play the innkeeper. <laughs> Confirm. Which one? All of them. Alright, um... I think that's all I can do. Actually, no, with the innkeeper, I could play another card. Yeah. And Bridge Toad is another goal. So we got Bridge Toad and Undertaker. And we have... We have the Miner. He doesn't do anything. Yeah, so we could do Bridge... Bridge and Undertaker. Drawing three cards is not going to help me. Uh, but it could get me that last goal, but I'll need two more after that. Um, Harvester isn't really going to get me anything. So I think I'm going to do Bridge Troll. Because he's common. And then I think I'm going to go ahead and move on. Get my people back. All right, we're up to six. Choose a construction card to activate. Um, nah, I don't want to do that one. I could draw cards because I do need two cards. Let's do that. And then, oh, does I need yet another storehouse? Okay, and then let's put let's put a stone on that one. Whoop. And let's put another stone. Let's just go stone. Stones for everybody. I mean I do need a lot of stones. Um, do I want to convert my wood into something? Maybe, maybe I'll do a resin. There, that's good. Alright, so I think I can go up here. Now, let's see what we do. So when I achieve this, you may place up to three critters from your hand beneath this event. Do I have critters? I have one... Two. Two. Alright, so... Let's see if we can get another critter. I'm trying to think, how, do I want to do this one? Or, you know, hmm, maybe this one. Well, you know what? It's still going to be worth it. It's still, cause with the king, I get victory points for doing it. All right. And then do we have anybody else? We have Bridgetoad. Oh, yeah. Monk and Dungeon. Inn and Bard. Where is that Bard? That's what I want to know. Common construction. Where is my big point card? So the king's giving me two. That's giving me five for what? Each common construction. 
Um, that is a common construction. So that would give me some points. So is this. For each common critter. I do have a lot of common critters, so that would be good too. Um... Get some goods. Oh, there they go. Man, I have a couple. I need the Undertaker. Do we see the Undertaker anywhere? Oh, the Ever Tree. Hmm. All right, and then. I got the general store gain one bear and if you have a farm in your city gain an additional or the twig bridge we can get some wood so we could grab another berry this will get us points, though. Ooh, the shepherd. No. We need the undertaker. Uh, I could draw... Yeah, you know what? Let's do it. It's, I, I can draw up the three cards. I think this is calling my name. And no undertaker. Ooh, we have the queen, though. Play a card worth up to three victory points for free. Interesting. She's worth four victory points. Alright, so we got the fairgrounds. The general store and the mine. I'd only, I would only draw one. So this should be giving me like what eight points? Yeah, forty-five to fifty, man. Um. Uh oh, man, mouse is really. Oh yeah, any any, any number of people can put there. Okay, place there. Um. Yeah, mouse is just really hitting this hard. No. No. Okay. <laughs> Trying to think. I guess I'll do this common construction from the hand. Man, I'm so close. So close. I guess I could just do this to get some points. Place. All right. So we don't need this guy. Um. Mm, that could get us some points. All right, so I'm at 49. So if I could get the school down, I just need, oh, I just need, I need some resources. So I, is it any card? A critter, okay. So let's look for, ooh, the king. No, the king's giving me two points. Um, we could do bridge toad. No. No. Yeah, the critters just don't give me that many resources. So, you know what? I think I'm... Yeah, they have no more workers. I think I'm just going to throw another guy here. And get two more points. We'll get rid of the queenie. And we'll get rid of Clock Tower. 
Can I like, do I get two points every time? No, okay. Every, I was thinking, do I get points for every two? All right, so now I'm at 51. Um, so yeah, I think that is my turn. Boom, look at that. One by one point. Wow, turtle. You may be slow, but you won. All right, so yeah, so basically, um, you do get some points for remaining resources. Look at Mouse, just stockpiling resources like that. And then events claimed, I claimed one, which is, uh, they don't count. For some reason, I, I had this problem last time when I was looking at the score. They don't count these as events. I'm not sure what they're called, but they don't, they don't seem to call these events in the end game scoring. Oh, I couldn't, couldn't I have done that? No, I couldn't have. Oh no, I could have. I could have got three points right here. Why didn't I notice that? This board is just so huge. It's so hard to like see everything. All right. Um, but anyway, I still won by, I still won. I mean, I would have won, won by two points instead of one. But yeah, that is the game. Uh, pretty awesome. I love that they finally give you the ability um, you know, to finally pick your character. Um, you know, I thought that was like kind of weird they didn't do that. So yeah, they did come out with an update, so I'm really happy about that. You know, not that they like it changes the gameplay at all, but like sometimes I just don't want to play as a hedgehog for the 40th time. Um, but anyway, this was Everdale. Uh, again, we're just kind of running through the challenge mode, checking things out. That one was actually kind of interesting. I think I had a good card that kind of synergized with this one where, you know, those common cards were free. And I had that card that gave me points for every common uh, construction. So, yeah, I think that was a pretty cool combo there. Uh, looks like the next one is whenever you spe uh, s send a worker uh, to a paw destination, gain two berries. So this one will be... Uh, this would be interesting. This one will probably be very berry heavy, which is very critter heavy because critters all cost berries to play pretty much. So that one will be kind of interesting. It's, it's kind of weird how you change one role and your whole gameplay kind of flips upside down and changes. It, it's kind of neat. But anyway, that is Everdale. And if you like this content, please like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.